Moving to a new place is difficult. All the more moving to Spain as a foreigner is extremely difficult. First, because we don't have a basis of rent prices in a specific city. And next, but the most important one is the language barrier. God knows how many times I moved from one flat to another, and I think I may have become an expert in finding flats in the process. So I made this video so that if anyone of you wants to travel and live in Spain, none of you will go through what I've been through. It's just horrible. I will explain it to you later on. And just sit and relax and take note of my advices. First, I'll tell you my horrible experiences. When I moved to Spain, specifically Murcia, which is in the south, a lovely city where I studied, I rented a whole two-bedroom flat for myself from an agency. I paid 440 euros only to find out that the agency was taking commission every month. And they even tricked me into paying the bills before I even settled in. So when I had to leave for Rome for my internship, I was told that I had to pay another month's rent, I wouldn't get my deposit back, and I had to pay an extra month of bills, an estimated amount, and I had to pay 300 just to clean the apartment. So it's, it's ridiculous, it's, it's a ripoff. So what I did was, since they were, they were threatening me, they were so aggressive, I went to the police to file a report, and after that I got my, my, the money that I paid for the bills and I didn't have to pay for the another month's rent for another bill and 300 for cleaning the apartment so I cleaned it myself. Then after that I stayed with my friend because my other friend went back to my country so I took over her flat and at that time it was more tranquila but when I moved to Madrid I was in a hurry to find a flat because I just got a job offer and I was going to start soon. So I started checking from rental platforms such as Mil Anuncios, Foto Casa Idealista, but I couldn't find one and most of them are ripoff or some of them are, are bogus. So I finally booked Airbnb and I got one for a month just to buy me some time to look for a permanent apartment. When the one month Airbnb rent was over, I had to look for another one. And I found one from UniPlaces. Actually, it was a good platform, but when I when I finally moved in, there was a discrepancy with the pictures. And as you can see, the picture here is already the, the room is already small. And when I arrived there, they gave me half of that size. Imagine that how small it is. So that night, I messaged UniPlaces. I told them that help, please. I I I was tricked into getting this room it was it was different from the pictures and i need to leave immediately and the next day i went to work and i was crying because i, I don't have a home so my my colleague told me that i can stay with him and he, because he has an extra room and i can stay there for a month while looking for a flat and i told him no i will i will try my best to find a flat as soon as i as, as i can so for unique places they they refund my money back and I, while I was staying with my colleague, I found a flat using this app, Baddy. It's so useful. I'm, I'm in no way of advertising anything here. I'm just advising. So from my experience, um, I got my first permanent flat here in Spain. I mean, here in Madrid from Baddy. So for my advice in getting a flat here, <laughs> in conclusion, um, first is join facebook groups such as erasmus madrid or erasmus wherever you are staying and because this group is for students for foreign students who are residing here only for a year and after their programs are done they're gonna look for other people to turn to take over their flats so it's a good way of looking for a flat and another one is as I said, unique places, although yes, I had 
a bad experience with it although when i when i messaged them they were quick to respond they even gave me some links that i mean they they, they recommended me some flats that i can take and they were quick to refund my money and this is a really good platform because it's more secure you're gonna pay online through the platform and if there's any discrepancies like what happened to me they're gonna refund you immediately next is spot a home you can book directly from the platform just like unique places and you can also filter your budget and you can also check which what are the amenities available in that certain flat and last but not the least you can download by the app I think this is the most efficient one because you can directly message the flat owners and this way you don't have to pay anyone for commission or through agencies but take note that all messages should be in Spanish even if you're not fluent you will only interact with them for quite some time so you can you can ask your Spanish speaking friends or use Google Translate and if you find a flat that you like in Badi, ask right away when is the right time to see the flat as soon as possible because usually it will be gone in hours. I hope this video helps and if you want to get more tips and guides, please subscribe to my channel and you can also check out my website for a complete transcript. Hasta luego!